Hello there. So today we're trying to determine uh, flow velocity, and in order to determine that, we need to use the Hawk flow meter. So this Hawk flow meter has a top setting rod. This rod has some measurements on it. It has a large shaft, a smaller shaft. On the larger shaft, it goes by centimeters, every two centimeters. So individual marks, they'll be that'll be a two centimeter gap, two centimeters, and then when it's a double, it represents ten centimeter intervals. So that's ten centimeters, ten centimeters. We go all the way up and we have a triple at 50 centimeters and 100 centimeters. So when we go out, hook our sensor up, wade out into the water, we look at our velocity, we look at the depth of our water off of the larger one, the one with the interval markings on it. And let's just say our water happens to be 0.5 meters or 50 centimeters. We can see we have the triple that represents 50 centimeters. So at 50 centimeters, that's the height of our water. Now we want to get 40% off the bottom for our sensor, but we don't want to do math. If we happen to fall at 57 centimeters, we don't have to do some math. So the rod automatically sets it for us by using the small one. So now we're going to squeeze this button here. It's kind of new, so you got to squeeze quite hard. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that 50 centimeters and we're going to relay it from the small pole back onto this. This represents 50 or the one of uh, the tens position of your number and this is the fine scale this represents the ones position so we our depth of our water was 50 centimeters so we got a five in our ten spot and we line it up with the zero so that re represents 50 then when we look at that it's we go now down to the sensor and the sensor has self adjusted itself to automatically be 40 percent from the bottom of our depth which is which is 50 centimeters so we're at 20 centimeters off of 50. 20 centimeters off the bottom, which represents 40% of our total depth. If we wanted to show you another example, we're using round numbers here. We can go now to a meter. So we can look at, here's our water level at one meter. We look over at the rod, we have a triple here. We know that that's 100 centimeters. So now we want to relay it over to the small rod and adjust it. So here we are adjusting the rod up. In our 10 spot, we actually have 100 centimeters, so that's a 10 and we line it up with the zero and so that represents now 40 percent of 100 centimeters and we look down at where our sensor position would be and it's exactly there at 40 centimeters or 0.4 meters off the bottom. Excellent.